शिष्यानंदमय मात की जय देवदांतिस डिस्कार्ड वन थिंग आफ्टर अनदर सेइंग नेति नेति नॉट दिस नॉट दिस इंडीड यू सी अ ब्यूटीफुल फ्लावर एंड अ फ्यू डेज लेटर इट हैज बीन रिड्यूस्ड टू डस्ट देयरफॉर what they say is perfectly true what is subject to change will most certainly change on the other hand expressed in terms of those who believe in the reality of name and form one may say all names are thy name all forms thy form here name and form are also real again it may be argued what is bound by change is the world by persevering in the practice of discrimination one finally becomes established in the one reality when there is only the one ocean nothing but water one cannot see one self as separate from the all this is full immersion nevertheless if outwardly or inwardly even so much as a hair has remained dry it signifies that complete immersion has not yet occurred when a seed has been fried it can never sprout again just so after realizing oneness you may do anything it no longer contains the seed of karma where this is not present there all form and variety are but that look by intense devotion as well as by vedantic discrimination one has arrived at the one essence does then to merge into it mean to become stone like not so indeed for form variety manifestation are nothing but that the characteristic features of each person's particular path will of course be preserved yet what is attained is the one in which no doubt no uncertainty can survive in fact what is there to be attained we are that eternal truth because we imagine that it has to be experienced realized it remains apart from us on some levels this point of view is valid but on others it is not the eternal ever is what is styled the wheel of ignorance signifies continual motion motion means change incessant transformation yet again no change takes place where there is non action in action for such a one duality does not exist who then eats and what can he eat in this state how can there be theories or disputes if someone argues that since a certain person speaks he cannot have attained to this state what does he speak and to whom who is the one to whom he speaks this is so when full realization has come about when trying to explain this to others one comes to see that they have not understood it does realizing that someone has not understood imply that one has one self reverted to ignorance 
one has realized both being able to understand and being unable to understand he who is limited by the point of view of the world is in bondage but where the vision of that is there the knowledge of ignorance and the knowledge of knowledge stand revealed in their fullness there the question of viewing knowledge and ignorance separately can simply not arise actions such as eating and so forth has now become action in in action whether one still performs ceremonies or not what difference does it make knowing and not knowing in their entirety are now contained within oneself but to understand this state is difficult indeed it is easy to comprehend a particular line of approach or level but here there is no question of attainment or non attainment and therefore even non attainment is no shortcoming either however if the very slightest attachment has survived it signifies that this sublime state has not yet been reached shri shri anandamayi mat ki jai